Today we will be talking about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or ALS. ALS is a motor neuron disease, which causes progressive degeneration of the nerve cells in the spinal cord and the brain. ALS affects voluntary control of the arms and legs, and leads to trouble breathing and unfortunately death. ALS was first identified in 1824, and became known as a specific disease by Jean-Martin Chacot in 1869. ALS was relatively unknown until the late 1930s, when a famous baseball player named Lou Gehrig was diagnosed with ALS. ALS was also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is typically seen in about 2 of 100,000 people. It affects men more often than women, and is commonly seen in people between the ages of 55 and 70. 90% of ALS cases are sporadic, which means that the disease occurs randomly, and 10% of cases are familial, which means that the genetic mutation is passed on from another family member. Someone with ALS may first experience weakness or tingling in one of their limbs. As the disease progresses, they may experience muscle cramps, loss of motor control, slurred speech, difficulty swallowing and breathing, and the ability to walk. The exact cause of ALS is unclear, but there is evidence that oxidative stress, excitotoxicity, defects in axonal transport and aberrant protein processing and degradation all play a part in the degeneration of motor neurons. ALS can be hard to diagnose early on because the symptoms can be similar to other diseases. A physician can administer different scans and tests to help rule out other conditions or to help diagnose ALS. A physician may do EMG to look at the electrical activity in the muscles, a nerve conduction study to measure the nerve's ability to send impulses to nerves, an MRI, blood or urine tests, a spinal tap, and a muscle and nerve biopsy can all help rule out conditions that may be causing certain symptoms. Unfortunately there is no cure for ALS, treatments are used to slow the progression of symptoms, help prevent complications, and make you more comfortable. The most common medications that are prescribed to individuals diagnosed with ALS are etiravone, sodium phenylbutyrate, trorosodiol, and rilazole. Other treatments can help manage symptoms, physical therapy helps people stay mobile, and helps ease discomfort from stiff muscles. A nutritional counselor can help maintain a healthy diet, especially when swallowing becomes difficult. A speech therapist can help teach you nonverbal communication skills and safer swallowing strategies. And having the opportunity to use assistive devices such as braces, grab bars, and motorized wheelchairs and beds, help a patient stay independent and to have the ability to do daily activities. If you would like to learn more about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis you can visit the ALS Society of Canada and the ALS Association.